Hey guys, and gals, Dr. Dash, you boys can hear, and what we're seeing is the great downfall of America as we know it, especially with the end of the Affordable Care Act coming soon, which, by the way, supposedly nobody read the bill for that, and, you know, what's even worse is... <laughs> well, I uh, saw a news article that also popped up on my Facebook not long ago. Yeah. So, to all the Trump supporters, to all the Republicans, Republicans, the so-called conservatives, GOP lawmaker admits not reading every word of health care bill. Last I checked... They're supposed to read the fucking bills and actually understand what the fuck they're signing. But it looks like they ain't doing their damn job. So, Chris Collins. If you really want to keep your so-called job, you better start doing it correctly. And that includes actually reading the fucking bill that's put in front of you. Read it page by page, cover to cover, the whole nine. Even if it takes three fucking days to do so or a whole goddamn month for all I care. If it takes like 50 fucking attorneys to like actually understand this shit. Go that route. I don't care. Actually read the fucking bill. Because it's people like you. Chris Collins. And most of a lot of people in Congress. Who don't read the bill for shit. Are the reason. Is fucked. Oh, so your staff reads it, but you don't read it. You should be there when the staff is reading the thing. Fucking idiot. Oh, oh, so now you're flip-flopping, saying, oh, you know, I really rely on my staff and I can't probably tell you you read every word and I wouldn't be telling you the truth. <sighs> yeah, it's sickening me. How the fuck can you understand the goddamn bill in its entirety when you haven't read it with your own two damn eyes? Like, for real. For real. Like, just no. No, 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 no. Oh, let's see what this other guy, Jim Hines. And now you're very, very famous. Yeah, for the absolutely wrong fucking reasons. For the worst reason possible. 
So, and what's really bad is that um, apparently. This is another guy that's also behind it. Uh, Scott Tipton. You know, who is uh, another one of the GOP fucks that is going to be kicking a lot of us off healthcare. Now, the other one here that has me absolutely pissed off along with the rest of my female friends out there So, apparently, another stupid idiot of the Republican Party let's see here um. Mark Meadows and Tom MacArthur um, and what's a wave a current ban that prevents insurance companies from charging premium rates the customers based on history so they're wanting to roll back something that is make health care affordable for everybody. And to be honest, as Bernie said in a rally I went to not long ago, health care should be a right, not some privilege for the rich and those who have money. And I stand by uh, I stand behind Bernie Sanders with that statement. Um... And what's worse is now they're considering sexual assault and domestic abuse a quote-unquote pre-existing condition. Now, who do you think is going to hurt more? The women. I'm not a feminist, but last I checked, more than not, I mean, even though there are men who get sexually assaulted, there are men who get domestically abused. It actually happens on both gender poles. Granted, it happens more to women than it does to guys. So, you know, it's... It's really... These... Republican dickomats want to defund and to take away affordable health care for women. Last I checked, aren't we supposed to care for our women and children? Aren't we supposed to care 
for those who give birth. Because last I checked, that's the reason why they're actually a little bit higher rank in Native American tribes, last I learned. Because they are the birth givers. So, if it weren't for women, you wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be here right now. Um, so, apparently, pre-existing conditions in the new AHCA draft include domestic violence, sexual assault, C-section, postpartum depression. And two of those things actually come from, you know, birth and afterbirth of said child. Which, the first part, okay, yes, the surgery. But that shouldn't be a pre-existing fucking condition. Neither should sexual assault or domestic violence. Shit happens. Now, granted, stuff like diabetes, that can be hereditary. Uh, there's hypoglycemia. There's millions of other things that could be considered pre-existing conditions. But sexual assault and domestic violence. Especially the other two portions. C-section and postpartum depression. Uh, fuck no. Those should not even be on the consideration what-so-fucking-ever. And to any Republican cunt who thinks that this is It's mostly targeting women, especially with the last two. Because women are the only ones that can give birth. And the last two things on this list of so-called pre-existing conditions are things related to giving birth. A natural thing that all women do eventually in their lives. If they so choose to. So, yeah. I say it's time to raise hell. I say it's time to march on Washington. It is time to show these Republican dickomats what we truly are. And that survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault, and definitely women who've, you know, have had had have a C-section because of other complications, and postpartum depression after birth. That's a normal fucking thing. I'm sorry if I'm cursing, but this is, when I get really passionate about a topic, this is me. Granted, I ignore the news for the most part because of shit like this. But at the same time, when I see shit like this, I can't help but speak on it. Now, let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, this is, this is our bullshit, so, you know, I'm going to leave this here with you, anyways, hope you have a better day, peace out.